I have a problem with her and I told her day one that I need you to put on three kilos of us, I can't train you. You see, most people think, most people think that modeling is thin. Modeling is not thin or not fat, it's just being correct. You see, she may look nice at 27 kilos, you may look nice at 28 kilos. I'm just taking a figure, not 27. Okay, say, I don't want to be on the actual figures because you're a woman. But I'm just saying, for example, 27 and 29. Alright? So maybe 29 looks very good on you. Maybe 29 doesn't look good on me. Maybe it doesn't look good on you. Maybe it doesn't look good on you. So 27 and 29 is a number. It doesn't mean that every model should be 5 feet 10 inch. What happens if she is 10 and a half or 5, five feet 9 and a half inch? I mean, what's wrong in that? Okay, so it depends on how you look, how you feel, and this. So the food pattern, again, is determined on many issues as a model, starting with your blood group, scientifically. There are certain things from your blood that now you can say that are good for you and that are not good for you. What is good for you doesn't mean that you put on weight, so it's not good for you. Weight is not, weight is not the only reason to say that you are healthy or unhealthy. There are many things in food that make you healthy or unhealthy. For example, tomatoes may be good for you but may not be good for our skin. Because they release certain enzymes which may be acceptable to your body, may not be acceptable. I cannot say tomatoes are very good for all five of you in this room. It's not possible. So the blood tests clearly determine exactly what is correct and balanced for each food over here. And that blood test is not easily done in, I don't know, in this part of the world, but I know that it is not done even in Dubai. It's done in Germany and it's done in London or some of those places. But <clears throat> it's important because all of us are different and sometimes brothers and sisters even from the same parents, they have different, totally different, uh, their bodies accept uh, different types of food or different things. But the thumb rule for a model, the most important thing, more important than what you eat is to think what you are eating. If you don't think before you eat, you'll go wrong. Please think before you eat your food. Why are you eating it? Most people eat because Babushka said it's very good for you. Okay? Most people eat because they are hungry. Most people want to get to class in time. A lot of people say breakfast is very important. Some people say lunch is important, forget dinner. The Buddhist monks in Burma, they don't eat after 3 o'clock. Why? Because they feel, no, it's not necessary. The body doesn't need that after 3. Why? What I say is whenever you eat, please think what you're eating, when you're eating. Don't open the fridge at 3 in the morning and start eating. Right? Give a break to your liver, give a break to your kidneys. Let them also rest. You go to sleep, right? Your heart is pumping. Your lungs are working. But there is a time when the kidneys also need to rest and the, and the other digestive organs need to rest. If you keep bulldozing it right at the wrong time in your food and you have that working for you all the time, you get up in the morning again, you are being dumped with breakfast. So when does the body, the liver get time to rest or kidney? So space it out in the quality of food which is more important than the quantity of food. Quality is more important than quantity. Spend thousand soms less on your jacket, but spend thousand soms more on your food quality. Buy from a good place. Drink the right quality of water. Drink, eat the right quality of food. Especially if you are eating non-vegetarian food, buy it from as close as you can to the source, fresh. Try to avoid preservatives, try to avoid ice cold storage stuff. You come to Dubai, you have vegetables that are three months old lying in cold storage. 
I love your country because there's oxygen. There's no oxygen in my country where I stay. You have everything next to you. You go to the farm, you go to the forest, you pick up your mushroom, you pick up your raspberry, you got it fresh. You are not processed. You wash it under the tap and you are eating it. You have abundance of fruit in your country. So what I am trying to tell you is that food is very important. The balanced food. I am not a nutritionist. I am just a teacher. But I will tell you that quality is more important than quantity when it comes to the food. And please think what and when you are eating when it comes to the food. The other thing is water therapy. A lot of women, the context in which we say that emotions are related with the heart is that when we vision our thoughts through intelligence, they are very clean and clear and we can see the end result. But when it comes to emotional decision making, we can't see the end result. And when we can't see that end result, we need more oxygen in our body and taking an emotional decision means the heart is pumping faster. When the heart is pumping faster, supplying, purifying the blood faster through the lungs. Therefore, it's giving more red cells into the body, to the brain to be able to find the solution. Mm -hmm. So, in the old technique way, it says that it's related to the heart. But still the emotional decision comes from the brain. But the heart plays a role in giving more blood supply. But then where is the mind? All together. Okay. Now I'll explain you what the mind is. All these three channels of information coming, they come into an abstract part of our body, which is called the mind. It is there whether we open our eyes or we close our eyes, we vision those thoughts. You can vision your thoughts in dreams, in a subconscious mind, but in a conscious mind, you can vision them in your mind. In a conscious state, you can vision them in your mind. When these thoughts come into that room, it's there where you see. That room is called the mind. Here comes a thought from the heart, here comes a thought from the brain, here comes a thought from the conscious. Where we see it abstractly, that room is called the mind. So mind is where these issues come together and we start looking at it and trying to clear, to clear our fears. Oh, this shouldn't happen to us. Or oh, I shouldn't lose this. Or oh, I shouldn't do this. It comes out of that mind. Do you understand? So it's that abstract place. It doesn't exist. There's nothing you can touch. It's an abstract thing where we go into this. Mind is what we call reflective thinking. We reflect our thoughts in it. One was lateral. The second one is reflective thinking. The third one is intelligence, your intellect way of thinking, where you are using your intelligence. Alright, so these are the three ways that you think. Reflective thinking, lateral thinking and through your intellect. Now when you come into the issue of your mind, this is the most powerful thing because if your mind is confused, you cannot perform as a model. If your mind is not in equilibrium, you cannot perform in model. Do you understand this? It has to be perfect balance to be able to perform. So mind is one of the most strongest things that you need. Even though you do water therapy, you do exercise, breathing, food, everything, good body. But bad mind, you are finished. You cannot be a model. Right? So you need to have the right. The other thing on the femininity side are issues related on which I talk about like hair. You know, like anytime the model comes, she wants to look like hair is a very important aspect. Every woman's hair is different. Yeah? Very few women keep their hair traditionally the natural way like grandparents used to when they were young. 
In those days, you didn't put so many chemicals in your hair. Now, every day, you're putting more and more chemicals, you're putting more and more nicotine through smoke, you're putting more and more pollution in your hair. There's more damage on the hair now because of the air, because of the quality of water, because of the food and pollution in the food, the quality and the lack of vitamins. You're taking, you're eating not the wrong food, you're eating the wrong, the right food but the wrong way.